Hello YouTube, it's Danny, the leader of MVP Game, and today we're back in Metro, guys, and I'm going to be teaching you some top tips on how you can lead your squad to Metro success. And of course, there's going to be a giveaway as well, so make sure you stay around for that. Subscribe to the channel, and let's dive into it. All right, so here we are, guys, jumping into Metro, and we're going to be getting some top tips for you today, guys, on how to lead your squad to Metro success. Now, I know some people might think, oh, I'm not a leader of my squad or anything like that, but guys, you can be a leader in your squad, and you can be a decision maker, and really, the best squad, some of them, they've got more than one decision maker as well, people all making good decisions, thinking with their brain, and we're going to start with the top tip for today, guys, the number one first tip, well, maybe not the best one, but it's a great tip, guys. you got to go in with a game plan. Now, see, a lot of squads are playing very random and, like, it's not a lot of organized or, or structured to their game style. So I always like to go in with a game plan. If I'm spawning over at District Woods, I love to go into Rojok and hopefully get some third party action. I'm going to be aware of the team who's pushing over on Riverside and also the teams over here who might be fighting as well. So that's what you got to be thinking, guys. Always one step ahead. What's going to be the next move and things like that. And we've already got into the tips, guys. As you can tell, this video is going to be packed with a load of useful tips. So make sure you smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel guys hit that notification bell on as well and we're going to be diving into it and hopefully ambushing some squads over here crossing from riverside is normally where i like to see my first battle and taking them unaware really now if you're beginning the game and playing with some random people you can also Give them instructions and give ideas. Just assume the leadership and guide them into controlled battles and safety. Because yeah. if everybody just does their own thing, um, it's risky. That's when you're playing like randoms with randoms, right? If, you, if everyone's just going off and doing their own thing. Because I've even joined squads of teams. And because if you take control and you say, right, guys, we're going to do this, this and this. Everyone like... They're like, oh, nice. This guy knows what he's doing. Like, he knows what he's talking about. And they start following you just naturally because you're the man with the plan. So you can do that, guys, even if you haven't got your own squad and you are playing with randoms. I know some of them might not listen, but a lot of them will, guys. So definitely give it a go. And you can actually make really good new friends and new teammates by doing that as well. I've heard some shots up here. And, uh... I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's oh, it's on the roof. Yeah, on the roof. Marked a location. Is he gonna grenade launch us? Uh, do we need a smoke? He's gonna grenade launch us, isn't he? Yeah, I knew it. He's yep. missed us. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, and, uh, nice tree. Don't break. <laughs> oh hell no! Not a safe place. <laughs> you knocked again, shot. Right, the tree. Uh, yes, yes. Hi, Matt is and Gremlin is knocked as well. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, but I'm safe. He has uh, his I'm attention on you. you now. One second. Uh, I'll try to crawl to Viga, which is risky. Yeah, I'm so keeping this guy busy. Okay. But he's got a grenade launcher and it's really annoying. I need to be healed really sometime very soon. Alright. Got about five seconds. Oh where's, my the, God. where's the other enemy? This is really risky. Keep him busy because we're in the open. We're in the open healing. Keep him busy. Okay, okay. where's the other enemy? No more uh, I saw only one on the roof. That's the last one I saw was on oh, the only one. Awesome, yeah, great job. He's knocked in here. He's speed glitching as well. So let's speedy knock him. Yeah, <laughs> what you done? All right. All right, so we're probably entering one of the most dangerous places on the map right now, guys, into Rajok. Now, when you enter a place like this, you want to be looking for signs, like the tower bot, for example. He's still alive. So there's probably not enemies inside of Rajok unless they've been real sneaky and snuck up into the boss bit while uh, we were busy dealing with that other guy over there. But 
is a lot less likely. But even though it is, we're still going to be cautious about it. I'm going to overwatch here. And I'm going to get my team to push up. Oh, actually, yeah, nice, nice. So this is what I was saying at the start of the game, guys, about the game plan. And we can expect people over here fighting. And this is what I'm talking about. We've heard them. We've got the information so we can come on top. And we can start looking to do a lot of damage onto these guys while they're already busy. Because uh, try and jump over and don't let the boss shoot because they'll, they'll know we're here. So we've got info that there's a guy shooting over there. I can't quite see him. He might be on the little ridge on the, under the rocks. I'm being shot. I'm not sure from where. I hear footsteps. I heard footsteps. I heard footsteps and shots yeah. from here. Okay. There is somebody near me. Yeah, just under the ridge, I think. At the bottom. Yeah. Oh, under the bridge, under the bridge. He's low. I think yeah, he jumped he's jumping. into the water. Yeah, he jumped yeah, he into did. the water. Right, Going so fishing? let's push him all together. Let's push onto these guys. So you see here, I'm, I'm not taking any assumptions, guys. I'm keeping my team. Make sure they know exactly what we're doing. I'm not thinking, oh, they know to push with me. I'm telling them, guys, we're pushing. Right, Sharky, you hold there. Yeah. Don't let... Oh. Yeah, he's very low, location. he's over there on the ridge. Da, da, da. Nice. Coming up. Oh, we're getting shot. Stay, stay, stay down. Stay down, Sharky. I'm getting shot in the back. Can't somewhere. see anyone. Oh. We've got a lot of loot here. Uh, can I come to you? To I, need some cover. Yeah. I need some cover from here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can go All to him. You can go to him. Revive, revive. You're good. I think we've got more enemies northeast. That's where I was getting shot from. Don't worry about the loot for now, guys. We're going to clean up all the fights, all the enemies, and then after that, we're going to we're gonna focus on the loot. So you see what I'm doing there, guys? I'm giving my team very clear instructions about what we're going to do so no one's confused, no one's running off onto loot boxes or anything like that. We're going to clean up the fight, and then after that, we're going to focus on the loot. So when everyone's healed up and ready, we're going to push across the bridge all together. Ready? Everyone ready? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are at the top of the hill or somewhere. Mark the location. That direction. I saw one like over here. Right, so we can push up all the way together. As long as we're all together, he's not going to be able to knock all four of us. And we're going to use this ridge. We're going to use this ridge on the left side. To get up on the high ground. Because we don't want to be fighting when he's the high ground above us. We want to get up there with him. And... Uh, and not fight against the high ground because it gives them a huge advantage, guys. Massive advantage. We're looking all right. But at the same time, we don't want this guy to escape. So we are going to push pretty pretty aggressively. But at the same time as that, like we're not going to go too over the top and run over because we've already got a ton of loot, guys, weapon. that we can go back and clean up. This guy's not an essential kill. He was annoying us a little bit. But at the same time, we just want to like ward him off, make him scared, let him know that we're an aggressive squad. And then when he's got the message and he's getting out of there, we can go back and loot in peace. All right, so that he's gone, guys. He's gone. From the way he was jumping at the top of the hill, I think it was speed glitching. So there's no way we're going to catch him. All right, so guys, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go and have a lovely little loot session down on a bridge. There's loads of crates all over Watch here, out. guys. All under the bridge, everywhere. There's Watch two out. level six enemies dead here. Look at all those dead crates under the Watch bridge. Out. It's like two squads who died here. So fill your boots, guys, and uh, I'm going to stay over here on cover. But you can see here what I'm doing, guys, is I'm sending my squad over to loot. And I'm not just running over there and thinking, oh, I need to get the loot, otherwise I'm going to miss out. No, guys, that's not how to do it. You should have always at least one person from the squad on the lookout, overwatching, checking out what's going on around, who's actually got like awareness of the situation who's not just focused on looting to avoid getting ambushed and things because when you are fighting or you clean up a fight that is when you're vulnerable because you've made a lot of noise and people know where you are and they're going to be looking at ambushing you and taking all that loot that you just won off your enemies and taking it for themselves plus all the loot you're going to drop from your own stuff as well kill the bot <laughs> oh bro I hit with two bullets, but I missed one bullet and I thought he was going to be dead, but it wasn't enough. Sometimes they can be pissed, too. Oh, 100%, bro. And they do a lot more damage than they used to as well. I know, especially in here, because I've come in a few times with no armor. 
And literally like three three bullets yeah, from yeah, a bot. Yeah, like get dropped. Especially uh especially those sniper tower bots, right? They're the most ruthless yeah. ones. Yeah. Right, come yeah, into when the you're ace. We're coming down into this tunnel system. Sorry, I didn't say. See, because this is actually an example of what I should have done better, guys. I lost focus for a little bit and I didn't say, right, we're going down specific yeah. into this tunnel entrance and now we've already got drifters in the name of Sharky over on the other entrance, which I know is probably going to be all right. It's probably going to be fine. But yeah, at the same time, there could, there could be people ambushing in a different lobby. Just stay up here, guys, for one second. Now, I'm going to ask my squad to stay above me quite a lot because, oh, there's a lot of dead bodies. Because grenade launches, guys. If you're pushing down these tunnels, then you don't want to... Uh, you don't want to be stacking up at all because there's a lot of pain that can be had from uh, getting received from a, a grenade launcher onto like three of you all at the same time. Right, so a lot of people died here, but it looks like they are bots. Let's push into this together. Both cards are gone. We're still going to check up. Doesn't look like there's anyone coming back. Alright, so here as a squad leader, guys, I'm thinking it's 16 minutes into the game. There's people in radiation. And I do kind of want to push them. But we shouldn't push down that tunnel. We should push down the other tunnel. It's a lot easier for pushing. And they're also more likely to come back from this tunnel, I find. Uh, because it's a lot easier to push for the end bit. I know a lot of people have, like, nightmares of that other tunnel that we're not in right now. Because it's so long and you can get easily cleaned up if you're coming back on the car or something like that. Alright, so we're entering radiation zone, guys. Now I'm going to get my squad ready because we could be facing glitches or anything. And we know people have already been in there, so we don't know what's going to happen. We're going to move on the left side all together. Uh, Vega, I want you to take that ridge. And can you just scope out the boxes on the right side and check if the boxes have been looted? Okay. The rest of us, we're going to be going up the hill, guys, on the left side. Actually, you guys can stay down here for a second. Stay in this dip. And don't attract any dogs because I don't want to make any noise. We don't want to tell people who are already in radiation zone that we've just arrived pretty much. So we're going to try I and keep quiet. got a dog chasing me. I'll just run him around in circles if it's only one. It's all right. All right. I'm just going to go up the hill and get some information for us, see what's going on. When I go up on the hill, guys, I'm looking. Are there people in the glitch? Are there people in the house, in the mansion? These are the things that I've got to ask myself when I'm coming up here looking for information. It does look... Watch your back, Shark. Looks pretty clear. Um, yeah, box and Reddit looted. It's already looted, though, yeah? Yeah. The monkey man's in his little back room as well, so I don't think there's even anyone in the house. All right, I'm going to check the left side box. Uh, right, this is what we're going to do. Vague. Wait, are these boxes looted? Yeah, it's all looted here as well. Right, all push on the right side. Up to the mansion. It's all looted. Maybe they already went out with a glitch. That's what I was thinking, but I can't see any dogs stacked up over there. Unless they killed them. Mm. Another option that could have happened is maybe the glitches, they killed these guys and then they came in. They've just left the glitch to come and loot. You never know. So we're always going to be on guard, guys. We're not just going to be like, oh, it's empty. Like, we're going to push up to the mansion together. And we're gonna, if there is a fight, we're gonna t kill them, obviously, and fight them. If not, we're not just gonna let our guard down and think, oh, we're safe. We're still gonna be on, on like, on edge. Well, not on edge, but like, aware of what's going on around us. All the boxes are loose. Someone go, can someone go up on the roof? Yeah, I'm up here, man. This is my, um, in radiation, oh, too, so. They missed Everything's out one box. Is it your first time in radiation? Nah, third, but oh, every time third, I've got yeah. here, I've never got this far. Oh, you never, never get this far because of all the glitches. Oh, yeah, all the yeah, glitches yeah, and people out the glitch. front. Yeah, I normally yeah. get through before I walk out. Alright, so to get on the roof, bro, you can just climb up on that ledge there. Watch out. Yeah, no, nah, that's how I got up before. I watched your video. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Best position in radiation zone. Well, if there wasn't a glitch, then it would be. But, unfortunately, there is. Alright, so I've got a sneaking suspicion, guys, that they came in, looted, and then they left out through the glitch. 
That's my little suspicion that's going on right now. Uh, you can take this, Sesh, bro. They did leave one unlooted crate for us, which was nice of them. Uh, and the reason I'm thinking that, guys, is because all the boxes are looted and we haven't found a single dead body. Now, if you find dead bodies and things, that would tell me, oh, they probably got killed by glitches or something like that. But because we haven't found that, I'm just going to start assuming that they have actually left through the glitch. So we're going to be moving down on the right side together. And uh, let's actually go through the right tunnel, even though it's riskier. I do want to, I kind of want to get camped a little bit so I can do some more combat tips. So let's do that. All right, so guys, I've been checking. We're approaching the tunnel now. Obviously, we've got to be on guard, but I have been checking the map throughout the game as well. Now, I noticed that. Let me just uh, get in for a second. You guys drive. I did notice, guys, when I was checking the map, there was boss spawned. The boss spawned in the snake pit. And the boss is now dead. So that's more information that you can gather and basically help you to make a better decision. Let's go, let's go, who's driving? Um, yeah, so it's all about when you're leading the team, it's all about getting that information, guys. You want to be finding out what's going on around you and all those good things so you can make a good decision about what to do next. Now, I do know that there was a boss in the snake pit and he's now dead. So we are going to, just a little misfire. <laughs> that wasn't free fire or anything like that. We are going to be going into snake pit. Because, wait, footsteps? Sounds just like a bot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a bot. Yeah, it's a bot. Alright, let's go into Snake Pit. Wait. Did that bot shoot at me? Yeah. Yeah, he was shooting at me, yeah. We can go check out Snake Pit real fast. Obviously, I do have to be aware of the time as well, guys. We've only got eight minutes on the clock, but three minutes is enough to go and check out Snake Pit real fast. We can just go over there and, and then come back to spawn straight after. Alright, so I think these guys probably killed the boss and then evac'd out, right? That's what it is looking like. Yeah, the boss is dead here. Just some intact guns if you guys are interested. And they probably left straight after that. Only five minutes left. Yeah. We're just going to go through Roger. We can kill the boss real fast and then just go to Eva. Oh, nice. We've got enemies. But nice. Nice. So, guys, in this fight, we're going to have to be fast. They're killing the boss. They're, they're killing the boss. They were actually thinking exactly what I was thinking, guys. We can go in evac and on the way we can get some more loot and kill the boss. So that's nice. We're going to be finding a little fight, a little bit more action. But we have to be fast in this, guys, because obviously the countdown time. Oh, no. Oh, no the, the bot gave us away. Is he going to run? He might run. I don't want him to run because he heard us. Who's, is it you shooting the grenade launcher? Yes, uh, yeah. Sesh. He was killing the boss. He's killed the boss. Scout out the back bit. Oh, he's here. He is here in the back bit. This guy's in trouble. Hello, buddy. I'll go. I'll go around. Just in case. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy's got an evac gun. Oh, he did. Oh. That's nice. Oh, I feel bad for him. He had a lot of loot. He's probably spent all game just surviving. We can shoot the evac gun just here, or we can just run to the evac. It doesn't really matter. There you go. But that guy was thinking just like me. I was thinking, right, how can we get a little bit more loot from this game? We did go over to Snake Pit and see if the squad was still there. But unfortunately, they had left and they did evac out, guys. So we weren't able to find them there. But on the way back, you're trying to think as a squad leader, how can I maximize the game? How can I get the most loot for my team? So I was thinking, right, the boss is probably respawned now by now because he respawns after like 10 minutes or something. So we can just run through. It's on the way to evac anyway because the fastest way is to jump over this little wall here. So it's on the way. We might as well check if he's alive. And we've managed to pick an extra kill and an extra bit of loot as well. I can even give it to our lovely subscriber here. Here's some cash for you, bro for coming and playing with us today and learning how to lead a squad. There you go, bro, Sesh. They can take this cash. It's not a lot, but it's a little something, something. And guys, let me give you a little something, something for you at home, right? <laughs> for you sitting at home. So I can give away a, what should we give away today? 
Maybe I'll give away a level six vest with a lead lined fabric in it as well, guys. So you can go into the radiation zone and lead your squad to victory and to all that lovely loot, guys. So that's going to be the giveaway for today. All you got to do to have a chance at winning that is make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and also leave a comment underneath, guys. Leave a comment underneath. Could be any comment. You can just say hi, or it can be something like maybe what's your favorite tip about leading your squad? How do you like to do it? Like, how do you like to control your troops and make them fight in an organized fashion so let me know that down beneath guys in the comments but apart from that it's been a pleasure for having you with us nice one i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one i'm gonna kill sam all right evac fast oh, guys we, we need to evac fast guys you need to get ready to evac fast Oh no. Go, go, evac through the thing. I'm gonna run to the. Oh my god. Not gonna make it. Better make it, Danny. I don't even know if I will. We'll, just, we'll, edit, we'll, we'll edit this video. Run, boy. Did you make it, Vega? Yeah, but there, oh, wouldn't, yeah, there, wouldn't, there wouldn't have been enough time for both of us, I don't think. <laughs> well, this, this can also go to show game. that, yeah, sacrifice for your teammate. Yeah, you don't make it. yeah I sacrificed <laughs> myself to save my team, right? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, what you got to do seconds. as a team leader. I think Five. I'm just going to make it. I think I might nah, just make you're gonna it. you're going to get killed. I'm going to get killed. But that oh, is the thing, guys, yeah, about being enough. the team leader. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh. No, I think I can make it. I can make it. I'm going to make it. Oh. But guys, you, you are. get the you last are. one. You are. Oh, 0.1. Oh, I made it. I made it out alive. Oh, that was a close one. All right. So you see that, guys. I judged it to perfection and I got my whole team out alive. That is what a good leader should do, guys. So make sure you do that as well. And we'll see you in the next one.